live in an energetic, supportive area, like uh, you live on 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 these ley lines, if the if they are kind of resonating with your system, or if you live in an energetically um, supportive area, of course, this is very supportive. Yes. And of course, we as humans also created areas which are more or less supportive. For example, like areas where there's a lot of praying, so temples, for example, whatever religion they belong to, that doesn't matter. So if there is a, a place where there is a kind of a genuine or, or real spirituality, this, of course, supports very much grounding. If the spirituality is not just designed to go up and out of the world, this is a different thing. But normally, at least in the uh, not Christian, Judai or not in the not monotheistic religions, it's very supportive also for grounding. The monotheistic temples are a little bit different, or churches, or whatever they are called there. And of course, we created cultural things which are supportive. So a cultural thing which is supportive is, for example, a temple, is a place where praying happens, is coming together in a certain kind of a higher frequency. But we also created, and uh, I'm coming from Berlin, and I actually really know what I'm talking about, we created places of deep atrocities. So grounding in Germany is not so easy than in other countries. Because we will face, when we go down there, we will face the unfelt past. So if we created atrocities for hundreds of millions of people in Europe during World War and the time before, and this is not just finished when we sign a document which says the war is finished, these things are there. So the, all these unfelt things are here. This is what we call karma. So the atmosphere in Germany, or especially in Berlin, is different than the atmosphere, for example, in Kathmandu. This is not only, not only a, an area thing or a, or a kind of physical energy, this is also created. And of course, of course New York feels uh, different than... Uh, Macleod Gulch somewhere out in the, in, the, in the bushes. But also we create culturally fields which are not easy to access because of the intensity it bears. And of course in the US you have something like this uh, with uh, uh, the slaves or the uh, native Indians. You have it in Australia with the Aborigines. We have it in Africa which also they, they sold their uh, uh, clan mates to the slave traders. So actually we have it everywhere and in some areas it's uh, pretty intense. So there are many things in to, to, to say about this question. So there are kind of physical things inbuilt into planet Earth and there are also things we have created as humans already, which are not so easy to connect to. And some areas are definitely supportive and it's also good to use that. To all to more and more uh, kind of use supportive areas to relax again, to remind, to recharge our batteries. <laughs>